Welcome to the second My Family Pattern video learning module on the Big Y700 DNA test. In this particular module, we're going to learn about what the Big Y700 test gives us in terms of our origins. Where is our paternal line likely from? And how did they actually get there? In this module, this is, as I mentioned, the second in the series, but we're going to learn specifically about our haplogroup. What is it and why we need to know it? And then we'll look at the Family Tree DNA website to understand what kind of features they have in place that shows us the actual migration route of our paternal line. And we're going to use both the migration map feature and what they call the globe trekker. And so we'll, I'll walk you through that. If you feel like you already know those particular items, you may want to skip ahead to uh, the third through the sixth video that you see listed down below. So to get us started, one of the basic elements about the Y-DNA test is it's going to deliver to us our haplogroup. And a haplogroup is nothing more than what branch of the paternal family tree our line rests on. So if you understand that the Y DNA originated somewhere in Africa, close to the central west coast, it started with um, what we call the Y DNA atom. And through time, humans migrated to other areas and different parts of the Y DNA mutated, creating different branches of the paternal family tree. And while they migrated and over a great many years, what you see here is a fairly good representation in the color codedness of the different areas of the world where these branches ultimately ended up in large quantities. Now, they're certainly in modern times, we're all over the world, but progressively, this is where most of them are found. And what we're going to observe today when we get into the website is, you know, what does the family tree DNA test provide us with respect to this? So, Let's go ahead and jump into a video that I've prepared in advance on um, what are these particular features that we're going to look at. And we're going to look at what are the Discover Haplogroup reports, which are found under the big Y. And we're going to look at specifically the Globe Trekker and the Migration Map. So here we go. All right, so we are logged into uh, my Family Tree DNA account, and we are looking at my Big Y 700 results. That's what we're going to do. And on here, I've gotten a lot of tests over the years, but the one we're going to spend here, we're looking for the Big Y section here, not the regular or the Y DNA, which is you know anywhere from. 12, depending on how old your results are, and up to the 111, we're going to concentrate on the big Y. And in this first module, we're just going to really focus in on this Discover tab. Um, we're going to look at finding out what our haplogroup is and understanding the migration map. Um, and the migration map, there's two different ones that we're going to look at. and one of them is the globe trekker, which you see right down here, but we're going to go in through the discover tab. So when we click on the discover tab, it's going to bring up all of the different functionality we want to look at. And these are the ones that I think are the most important in just giving you this general orientation. And only in this video, we're going to focus in on just the migration maps and our haplo group. You remember we talked about what a haplogroup is 
prior to logging in here. And you can see right here, it tells me what my haplogroup is. I'm on the, the I branch of the paternal tree. And then this is the letters and numbers that identify my particular branch on the main I branch of the paternal family tree. Um, the, these numbers um, are, it's not completely random, but it's, there are processes in place that give the particular numbers, but I wouldn't pay attention too closely whether yours is 972 ending in 972 and somebody else's 973, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, um, but just know your haplogroup and that's where you're going to find it. The two items I wanted to show you here uh, today are the migration maps, because I think one of the reasons why we do Y DNA on our paternal line is to find out, you know, where are we from? Um, where did we come from? What are our long um, term origins of our paternal line? So we're gonna look at two different ones. One is the migration map over here on the left and Globe Trekker right below it. I'm gonna show you Globe Trekker first. Um, and this is one of the newer features, as you can see, it's marked here with beta. And what it basically does is show you the migration map of your branch of the paternal tree over time. And I'm just going to speed it up here a little bit. It's gonna go at two times. And this is mine, right? So I'm gonna press play. And what you're going to see is if all of the paternal lines originate in Africa, how did mine end up in Northern Europe? And then ultimately mine crossed the ocean in the 1700s and ended up in the US near Philadelphia. So. I'm gonna press play and you can see how over time and you can see that we're still in BC era. And then finally we come into Europe, Ice Age happens and we're kind of hanging out there in Central Europe. And then you can see how we, as it gets closer to modern times, um, we're still in BC and we're about ready to jump into, you know, something more uh, post BC and you can see that we finally end up in the um, Scandinavia area and then crossing over into the UK uh, inclusive of England, Scotland and Ireland. And so this is where you can see and it ends with the orange dot uh, uh, and that is my particular uh, haplogroup parent if you will. Mine, as we knew before, was um, uh, the nine ended in 972, but this is the parent one. And in later videos, I'll show you how that ultimately uh, appears itself. And so that's the Globe Trekker. And it's, I think it's an interesting visual to kind of orient yourself to, you know, okay, where did we go and how did we end up where we did when we did? Um, the migration map, which I'll show you now, is a little bit different. It allows you to see it without all of the uh, topographical details in the map, but it shows you the exact same thing. And you can see here where, where at least with my paternal haplogroup, it started here with Africa. Um, and, you know, and each one of these colors represents a change in the paternal haplogroup. Like, Mine ended up being the I branch of, of the paternal family tree. And if you kind of think about the main trunk that grounds all of us is, you know, they call it Y Adam. And then the main trunk is the A haplogroup. And then you can see here where different portion, uh, portions of time in time, it changed from the A trunk, if you will, to the BT, uh, branch and then branched out continually uh, over time and you can see how that happens until I ended up in the I haplogroup and then this is again the subgroup component of my haplogroup but I wouldn't really pay much attention to this most of us don't really go that deep into it 
um, as we in later videos you will see how um, the that my haplogroup as was stated before um, if I go back up here my this haplogroup here how that shows up and how we use that to understand our our why DNA matches but those are the basic functions I wanted to show you in this video just kind of give you that orientation to help you answer the question where did we come from and when did we get to that particular area so in this um, I hope that you've been able to learn a little bit more about what a haplogroup is and how uh, your particular line migrated throughout uh, the world you know starting off in Africa and I hope it will help you answer you know the most important genealogical questions in terms of understanding your ancestry you know where did you come from and when did you get there so if you found this video helpful I hope that you'll watch the other four videos that you see listed here and uh, continue to learn more about the Big Y 700 uh, DNA test.